Lucy Edson for the Color Room, and I'm here to share with you a photo editing tutorial um, to create a multi-photo look. Um, I used this technique in this layout, and this was for palette number three. Um, the sketch showed uh, four photos, and uh, I didn't really have four photos I wanted to work with for this, so I decided to make a hybrid portion and use um, one photo and print it all off on one with the frames. And um, I'd like to show you how I did that. The first step would be to select your photo, and uh, this is the photo that I, w I used for that technique, and um, you need something that's tall enough where you can um, have everything you want to show as far as height above the subject. Um, if, if you did a face with this type of situation, it would probably chop things off in strange areas, but it would be possible, just you'd have to figure, um, you know, just play with it a little bit. I have done a little bit of editing on this, just a little color pop, and um, uh, raise the black a little bit on it. Uh, the first thing I'm going to do is open up a new palette and you do that by going to File, New, and Blank File. And I'm going to open that in the size that will print on my printer, which will be an 8.5 by 11. This is a blank palette that will allow me to size everything and layer um, the photo in the frame and trim everything away. Then just print this directly whenever um, I'm ready. I'm going to take my photo and just drag it onto the um, the blank ca canvas, and then I'm going to resize that. I want it fairly large because the height that I used in the um, the layout was probably about 10 inches, um, so that looks about right, maybe even a little bit larger, but just for this demonstration it will be fine. If you ever want to check the size and have an exact measurement, um, you go to View and Grid and it puts up a one inch grid and you're able to measure, you know, visually measure the actual size when you go to print. Now I'm going to open up my digital um, file and um, I keep those all together organized by the, the, the um, design and everything. Um, this is from a set called Border Effects by Holly McCaig and I'm going to open up this, the one that has the four frames that are already arranged. Go back to the main palette, open that and simply drag the um, digital file on top and having it selected over here on the layer palette which is on the right part of your menu right here I'm going to just drag the corners of this and resize it. This is where your um, main design is going to come in because you're going to need to check and see what parts of the photo are showing through the frames and um, I like it about like that so let's go ahead and select OK now, if you wanted to print this right now, you'd waste a lot of ink because you're going to be cutting away everything except the edges of the photo. So I would just quickly erase the background of that and I would use my eraser tool for that. You do need to have the photo selected for this section, so on my layer palette bar, I will select the photo. And then um, I have just a round eraser and it's set at 100% opacity. I'm going to simplify the layer and start erasing. Um, just don't want to go up into the inside of the frame, but just you can do this pretty quickly. And um, if it's not exact, that's fine because you're going to be using scissors to trim this out when you're finished. So here we have it. Now, if I was doing this um, to print right now, I would probably get in a little closer and you know just make it a little neater. But actually, it wouldn't matter at all. Now, um, now you're ready to actually go and print this, and. Um, apply it to your project. After you print, of course, you would cut out exactly on the edges of the frame and um, layer it in. And you're left with this, a multi-photo look um, on a single photo. I hope you enjoyed this little tutorial and uh, if you would like any links um, or to know exactly where, I did, I don't know if I mentioned that um, border effects, um, you can buy that at two P's. So if anyone needs anything, other information, please let me know. Um, you can visit The Color Room at uh, thecolorroom.ning.com or my blog, which is Lucy's Crafty Life. Um, and thank you.